Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Sultan Mafi Aulia. I am from DIT 152002 and I'm going to talking about pervasive computing. The first is the meaning. Pervasive computing is an emerging trend associated with embedding microprocessors in day-to-day objects, allowing them to communicate information. It is also known as ubiquitous computing. The terms ubiquitous and pervasive signify existing everywhere. Pervasive computing systems are totally connected and consistently available. So the things that are connected to the internet like your smartphones, smartwatch, smart TV, your computers, your laptops, it's all uh, ubiquitous or pervasive computing. So the products that I'm going to cover or I'm going to talking about in this presentation is the smart home assistant. There are two dominant products that dominate the market right now. It is Amazon Echo and Google Home. So this product is a smart speaker or you can call also smart home assistant because it's in your home as your smart assistant so the first i'm gonna talking about the amazon echo the amazon echo and also referred to echo is a smart speaker developed by amazon the device consists of 9.25 inch tall cylinder speaker with a seven piece microphone array the developer of this product is amazon.com and the type is smart voice enabled wireless speaker. The release date is November 6, 2014. Echo was initially limited to Amazon Prime members or by invitation. But later, in June 23, 2015, it is released in the US for the consumer and September 28, 2016, it released in the UK and October 26, 2016, it released in Germany. So the features that are available in Amazon Echo is weather from IQ Weather and news from a variety of sources including local radio station, NPR, and ESPN from TuneIn. Echo can play music from the owner's Amazon Music account and has built-in support for the Pandora and Spotify streaming music services and has support for the IFTTT and Nest thermostats. Echo can also play music from streaming services such as Apple Music and Google Play Music from a phone or tablet. Echo maintains voice-controlled alarms, timers, shopping, and to-do lists, and can access Wikipedia articles. Echo will respond to your questions about items in your Google Calendar. It also integrates with Yonomi, Philips Hue, Back in Waymo, SmartThings, Instaon, and Wink. Additionally, integration with the Echo is in the works for Countertop by Orange Chef, Sonos, Scout Alarm, Garageo, Toymail, Mara, and Mojo. So the second product here is the Google Home. Google Home is a smart speaker developed by Google as part of its Made by Google product line. The product stands as a rifle to Amazon Echo in the smart speaker industry and it was released on November 4, 2016 for $129. The design of Google Home is 5.62 inches high and 3.79 inches wide. So the developer of Google Home is Google and the type is Smart Speaker. It's released in the US on November 4th, 2016 and it's also available for consumer right now. The Google has its service integrated into the operating system and supporting commands and features similar to Amazon Echo, such as streaming through Google Play Music, YouTube Music, Spotify, TuneIn, Pandora, and iHeartRadio. The Intelligent Personal Assistant, Google Assistant, is included as the main and only primary assistant in the software and operating system of Google Home. Unlike its cousins, Google Now, Assistant is able to engage in two-way conversations. Google Home's Product Management Director Gumi Haftensen pointed out that Google is employing writers such as those who involved with Pixar movies and editors who have contributed jokes on The Onion to build personality into the Assistant. Google envisions a long-term feature of the Assistant as being ability to invoke a sense of emotional rapport in its users. Google Home includes home automation as a feature, enabling owners to use it to control devices as a central hub. Google has partnered with Nest, SmartThings, Philip Hue, and IFTTT for smart home device control with the Google Home device. Borrowing the Chromecast technology, Google Home is able to connect to multiple homes wirelessly and reaching multiple rooms. 
Google Home can control a Chromecast or any Google Cast enabled device to streaming video or audio. And now I'm going to show the example of these device features. The first is the voice automation. With Amazon Echo, you automate the device like this. So to use Alexa, first you say the wake word Alexa, followed by a voice command. And with the Google Home, you automate the device like this. With the Google Home, you say, OK, Google. So now we're going to the second features. These devices can answer your simple questions, such as asking for the time. Alexa, what time is it? It's 3.28 PM. Simple enough. Yeah, and you just activate her by saying Alexa. So for the Google Home, you say, OK, Google. What time is it? The time is 3.28 PM. And now it's the third features. These devices can also sing. Alexa, sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Um, okay, Google, sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, she got more soul. <laughs> She's melting out. <laughs> so the fourth feature is answer common questions. So, okay, Google, when did Iron Man first come out? Iron Man was released globally on April 14th, 2008. Okay, Google. Who played in it? Its cast includes Robert Downey Jr., John Favreau, and 59 others. Alexa, when did Iron Man come out? The movie Iron Man was released in 2008. Alexa, who played in it? Hmm, I don't know. But you can take a look at the Bing search link I added in the Alexa app. As you may see, Google answered the question in very much more detail rather than the Amazon Echo. Basically, because the Google services has more information into it, rather than the Amazon Echo provide. The fifth feature is play music. Since this is the smart speaker, also it has a built-in speaker, it purposes for playing some music. So this is the example of these devices playing music. Alexa, play Drake Fake Love. Then you knew. <laughs> Here's a sample of Fake Love by Drake. Sample. Okay, Google, play Drake Fake Love. All right, Fake Love by Drake. Playing Bro. on Google like, Play yeah, Music. Crazy, I got it. Yeah. And the six is the special features. I'm going to talk about from the Amazon Echo first. The Amazon Echo special features is to buy things online from Amazon just by using your voice. Alexa. Order a TV. The top search result for 42-inch TV is Seiki SE 43-543-inch 1080p LED TV. Should I order it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> order place. <laughs> so the special features for the Google Home is that you can kind of have a conversation with your assistant and she can remember what is the context that you are talking about with her. Even better, Google Home can remember the context of what you ask it. The President of the United States of America is Barack Obama. Hey Google, when was he born? He was born on August 4th, 1961. Hey Google, who was the President before him? George W. Bush. According to The Telegraph, 43 George W. Bush, January 20th, 2001, January 20th, 2009, Republican presidency hey, marked by war. Where was he born? He was born in New Haven, Connecticut. And of course, there are so many more features in these devices right now. But I am sorry that I cannot cover all of the features in my presentation right now. And that is all. That is my presentation and all of the things that I can cover in this presentation. And Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.